Not to mention free refreshment! Now where is Duck? Duck is right. Aha! Man, this thing is heaven. I can see why people use helicopters instead of subs. So he's looking for a naval battle, huh? Sorry, Doc, but the armor on this sub is too strong for your wimpy little cannonballs. Now it's my turn. I only have one shot, so I better make this shot count. Ha! Huh. One shot, one kill. Phew, it's all over. I don't think I could carry that sub for much longer. Now where is Doc? Did I blow him to smithereens? <laughs> no! How did you- I faked my death! As soon as you fired those torpedoes, I quickly dove into this grate where I had a cannon stored when I first boarded this ship. Lucky for you, I'm out of ammunition. But I'm still gonna take you down! What? What are you doing? I told you, I'm gonna take you down! You're crazy! You'll kill us both! I don't care. I'll do anything to defeat you. A real captain goes down with his ship anyway. A real justice who goes down. Before we die, Balloon, I just want to say it's been an honor fighting you. You've been a worthy opponent too. The story out to my Vlad Mare, if you will. No, 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 no! Uh-oh. Looks like we'll have a new toy to get. But now to make sure he's dead this time. How did you cheat that a gun? I hid in the grate again. And since I have no neck, I didn't suffer whiplash. Catch me if you can. I'm turning on you, Doc. That's what I'm counting on. Oh no, you don't. Haha, <laughs> nice try. I wasn't running from you. I was leading you into yet another toy from X's Dylan to Second's Childhood. Psh. The castle? Let me know when you lead me into a mountain with a blimp and train tracks, and then we'll talk. But right now, we can talk about how sturdy my drawbridge is. Drill all you want, you won't get through. You can't hide in there forever. How are you gonna defeat me behind your castle walls? I don't see any weapons. There's more to this than meets the eye balloon. What's that noise? <laughs> that ought to do it. But I better lay low for a while here, just in case. Coast is clear. So, you bring out the big guns. Literally, huh? I guess it's the end for me. But before I die, tell me, how did you break in? That was all thanks to you. That cage that the boulder came out of didn't close, and I simply traveled through the passage. But, but how did you survive? Your car landed on you, and I saw you just lying there too. And how did you get that gun through the passage? I'm a balloon, I'm like a living airbag. And that wasn't me, it was another decoy. A yellow ball. And that gun? I just suck it through the back. Oh. I'll make this quick and painless. Yes. So I realize this should be the first place I visited in this, but it's the second because I visited the lizards first. Oh, yes, I guess it's not your cons. Sir, you want me to purchase you? I possess no currency. I just came to this store to visit. Here's your mouse. Sorry, mouse. I cannot save you in this system. Society of animals. It's the meaning of life. Eat or be. <coughs> See ya. How's it going? Not bad, not bad. Just seeing if someone will buy me. A parrot that s speaks fluent English has since been purchased. That's shocking. I know, right? I know, right? I would say the same about a talking garter snake. I'm not for sale. I'm a visitor. Not a customer? Not a customer? You could buy me. 
Picture it, a parrot with a snake. Sorry, I'm just here to visit. Quit browsing, quit browsing. You know I can eat you, right? Excuse me? Sorry, sorry. That was inappropriate, I know. Look, what are you saving up for anyway? Hmm, I guess I could purchase you a bird would make an interesting fifth person in our ensemble. What's your name? Take a wild guess. Take a wild guess. Is it Perry? No, it's Perry. No, it's Perry. Like the platypus? Yes. Yes. Like the platypus. Now buy me! What can I do for you? I wish to purchase that parrot, please. Radio, that'll be 200 calyx. <sighs> now I see why Perry has since been purchased. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Congratulations, you've been purchased. Thank you, thank you. I spent most of my life's savings on you. Really? Really? How much? 200 Kellix. Holy crap, holy crap. Sorry, dude. I didn't know I was that expensive. Now I see why I haven't been purchased yet. I said the exact same statement. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll make it worth your while. And that isn't a sex joke. You'll get your money's worth out of me. And that isn't a sex joke either. There you are, Snake. Is that your pet parrot? Hey, hey! I ain't no pet. I'm a partner. And that also wasn't a sex joke. Huh? I purchased Perry for 200 Kellex. 200 Kellex? That's crazy! Yeah, I only spent 70 Kellex. And 60 of them were on chili. Frog got sold for 10 Kellex? Uh-huh. Ouch! Ouch! He must have been cheap because of his annoying voice. Yeah, yeah, pile it on, pile it on. Uh, are you guys okay? Wait, where are you guys going? Is this an animal thing? Do you sense an earthquake or something? Alright guys, let's do this hand job. Then we get free clothes. Okay, now I'm questioning if you're doing this innuendo on accident. Let's just call it the rubber hand boss. Hey, if there's any property damage, it's all on me. Hey, quit being so mean. Kayla, it's a damn rubber glove. It's not gonna listen to reason. Let's just defeat it so we can have these clothes for free. But what if they get damaged in the fight? Come on, Kayla, unless you're being knifed, everyone knows clothes are indestructible. Or if it's fan service. Don't go there, Portica. We can hover just like you can. Well, for the most part. Martha, it's a giant fist. Why would you think your wimpy ice wall could block it? Shut up! What was I supposed to do? <laughs> Kayla, try using traps this time, not free weapons. No, if you're gonna be mean to me and Martha about our battle styles, let's see you do something. Fine. <laughs> Easiest battle ever. Hands down. Boo. <laughs> you know, we probably should have expected this thing to have stretchy arms and extendo fingers. I'm going to put a stop to this thing. I hope that transformation didn't ruin your new clothes. Transformation sequences never ruin your clothes unless it's one that's triggered by anger. But boy, am I angry. What you doing? I'm going to make this thing blow. Cover me. Let her go, you mean old hand. Okay. This fight is becoming way more painful than I expected. Yeah, and the hand is becoming way more bigger than I expected. Portica, why didn't you use your psychic power to stop that? Because I couldn't see it. But can't psychics, like, see around them? Like, with their mind and stuff? Not all psychics have every psychic power. I can't even read minds. I thought that would come in handy with you, since there would be nothing there to read. Stop being such a meanie! If that hand flicks her, she'll be thrown all the way to the other side of the- well, I never said it was going to be a clean victory. Well, at least we earned our outfits. Yay! Dave, that's enough. What are you doing? A soccer game. Right here, right now. 
you, Evil Balloon, and Killer versus me, Spoon, and Seth. What makes you think I'll play soccer, let alone on a team with him? Well, he can't have Spoon and Evil Balloon on his team, now can he? Shut the hell up. Don't demean me. It's going to be me, Spoon, and Evil Balloon versus you and Killer. Two against three. Well, Seth isn't exactly in the position to play anything. And who's to blame for that? He is, because he was stupid enough to piss me off. Like, that's hard to do. Don't count me out. Remember who my rival is. It's gonna take more than an angry ass kicking to kick my ass. Great, let's see some awesome sports animations like the volleyball scene and beach brawl. Ladies first. How selfish of you. But yeah, you can kick off. Clever girl. Hey, I don't think that's a legal maneuver. I shut up and do something about it. Son of a bitch, how does a guy kick a ball that hard? When the guy isn't a wimp, he broke my damn hand. Well, I guess the game is over since a player is injured and we have no subs. No, it's one on one now. Spoon, Seth, get off the field. Okay. With pleasure. Killer, you're the goalie now. Who are you to order me around? Because I don't want to play against you. You aren't the one who challenged me. You're in my store, and you follow my rules. Fuck you. I'm going to the bike park. Well, I guess we should be thankful he stuck around for one game. Is there a position open now? Can't be a goalie, you're too small. Shut up, he's better than he looks. Alright, I'll take your word for it. Did I hurt you? What? What? I meant, if I hurt you, it wasn't on purpose. Well, spork me in the face. Dave actually showed some compassion. I knew sports would be the only way to get through to you. Shut the hell up. Well, it's a start. Uh, where are you guys going? Hey, I just realized something. <laughs> shut up. Seriously, shut up. Hmm? You say you don't sell outdated stuff, so why do you sell printers? Hmm? Despite all the advances technology has made, printers are still just about as bad as they were back in the day. I'm sorry, I don't understand. What the? Why did you open your eyes? And why is it unsettling? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Oh, uh, well for starters, you have to install all these damn outdated drivers just to get the machine to print ink on paper. Drivers are key for many add-ons to work. Why would printers be any different? Okay, but what about the ink? I can't print a black and white document because the damn printer is out of cyan. Black is the combination of all colors, so if it can't mix all of its available colors together, how would it make black? Alright, good point, but what about all these damn cryptic error messages? Print error, load, private set, paper, power, ink. Not all robots speak in that fashion. You are being racially insensitive. Um, and the paper! How the hell does the printer always have this habit of fucking up the paper? Like, it tries sucking in all of the paper in the tray at once, gets clogged, and her hand gets all inky trying to rip them out, and you have to end up buying a damn new printer. I'm sorry, I don't understand. No counterpoint, huh? So you can't defend printers. I'm sorry, I don't understand. No, I'm sorry, I don't like your tone. It's closing time, so you and your friends exit my store, please. What? You can't kick us out. What kind of store closes at 417 anyway? Exit my store, please. All right, gotcha. Robo, we gotta go. Not until I acquire this machine serial number. The owner of this store is whack and he's kicking us out. We gotta go. Exit my store, please. Right away. Coden, we gotta go. Why? The manager of this electronics department demands we exit. In addition, he forcefully removed my appendage. Why? Exit my store, please. Go. Wait, can I just buy this game? Oh, sure, that'll be 35 kilos. Thanks for shopping. May you return my appendage back. Thanks for shopping. What a weird guy. What location are we traveling to? Excuse me. Coden, Bill, respond. You're looking for precious jewels? Here, you'll want some crystals. He's faster than he looks. Why? Why would you do the exact same thing I just did? I don't know, maybe since my rope isn't made of gems, he wouldn't care about it since he steals them? That's stupid! Trying to stop me is already stupid. Fire guy! Stop him! What the? Get off of me! How can you hold on so tight with those stick arms? What the? How dare you! <laughs> now to deal with you! 
Gotcha. Yeah. Good job. So, now what? We can't send him to the brig because he'll just squeeze through the bars like a smurf can. Hmm. I know the perfect punishment. One, two, three, throw! That was satisfying. I kind of want to feed someone else to sushi now. Oh, how about we feed him frog? So what kind of door are you looking for? Revolving doors? No, I'm not trying to replace something at a doctor's office. How about these bead doors? I don't... They're pretty, but how are they doors? Sliding glass? No, too fragile. Automatic? Too pointless. Crank? Too steampunk. Iris? Too sci-fi. Stainless steel? That's perfect! Why do you need such a powerful door? To keep out a certain intruder. Why don't you just buy a gun and install an alarm? Because that will not stop a giant sand snake. Alright. Man, these things would look so awesome in my armor, I mean antique room. Wait, why am I correcting myself? Nobody else is here. Oh my, Kismodo, this is perfect! It's a fountain, it's crass, and it's evil! How the hell can I BUY THIS?! You like that fountain, huh? Is it because it's evil? No, no I like it because it's crass! Oh yeah? Then why not the one right next to it? It's an angel that spouts water out of its cans. That's more crass than a peeing demon. You know, this isn't exactly highbrow comedy you're aiming for here. Hey, you're the one who wants a fountain because it looks like it's taking a piss. I'm just a business owner trying to make a sale. Fine! Give me the one of the crying tiki. Why hasn't anyone called for help yet? What the hell is happening? Ha ha ha! Thanks for your help! For what? Your weird-ass mail-only advertisement? You still think that was an advertisement? Let me guess, you also think I'm genuinely trying to sell an outdated form of media, right? I yes <laughs> I played you! Literally! I'm not some store owner with a passion for music. I'm more of a brainwashing muse. What? I brainwash the masses with musical mind control. How can music control people? You must not know how obsessive guys can be over their favorite artist. And surely a person as passionate about music like yourself should know how music can affect people. Oh, I get it. You're like a Greek siren. Oh goody, you're finally catching on! So what about lesbians? Excuse me? Does your music hypnotize lesbians? I wouldn't joke about someone who can order your closest friends to beat the shit out of you. Oh, I would hardly call any of those guys my close friends. But why the hell did you even need me? A duet has more hypnotic power and range than a solo performance. Rex provides the music, but not so much for the vocals. I'm more of a one-for-one -one gal, but I figured why not try for a wider target audience. I set up a fake shop here and just waited for someone who's good enough chops and bad enough judgment to help me with this test. Now tie her up, boys. Oh, come on. This is your best shot. Under your control, these guys are even more stupid than usual. Not as stupid as you are. Well, that's quite enough of that. What the? Where did that snake come from? Sun Snake was looking through the candy store. Wait, you were here the whole time? Of course I was. Did you seriously not notice me? No, you might not remember this, but I don't really care about you. Well, that's cold. Oh, boys. Up that Sand Snake, please. Rex! We gotta snap these guys out of this. And as tempting as it is, I really don't feel like beating them all off with musical instruments. Whatever. But I have an idea. First get Sand Snake to restrain Stephanie and Rex. Way ahead of ya. Boys, get me out of here! What the? No! Where the hell is it? Looking for this? Give that back, you bitch! Don't you want another performance by your co-star, Stephanie? No way! Don't even think! Yeah, see, I don't. Brother told me that at the zoo. You're gonna tell me your plan? Yeah, see, if a pop fighter pumped up song can brainwash them all and bring them here, then maybe a calm, demeaning song can unbrainwash them all. Lisa, this is what I need you to do. Way ahead of ya! You want me to sing a duet with you so we can match the musical power you and Stephanie had? Actually, 
I was going to tell you to buy us some victory chocolate, but yeah, I suppose another duet would be just as good, I guess. Oh, you're so caring, Kildra. Just follow my lead. You do know obscure country music, right? No, nah, but I bet I can fake it. Close enough. Rex, give us a beat or else Sand Snake will crush you like a bug. Don't you dare order him around! So sorry, that was intense, but I've got this connection with Sand Snake that I don't... Whatever, it's fine, I get it, stop talking. Rex, I order you not to... <laughs> Good job, Sand Snake. Rex, I order you to give us a beat or Sand Snake will crush you like a wimpy dinosaur bot on the fang jaws of a giant earth serpent. He was a bad boy, and I was a good girl. He needed me to smooth out the edges. Well, he get his drink on and flirt with the ladies. And after two years of his crap, I quit begging. I'm a magnet for the fixer upper man if I know it's fire what do I let it burn my hand Cupid works for the devil be suspicious if he cries you know sex is usually good yeah but it ain't always right chocolate is a band-aid no matter what they say choose don't stretch and then don't change My friend Lisa, she loves a liar. She found out about his other girlfriends. He makes excuses, so she forgives him. And she swears she's gonna leave if he screws up again. But he's good looking. That's why she don't see he's got her exactly. Where he wants her to be Cupid works for the devil Be suspicious if he cries You know sex is usually good Yeah, but it ain't always right Chocolate is a band-aid No matter what they say Shoes don't stretch And men don't change Cupid works for the devil, be suspicious if he cries. You know sex is usually good, yeah but it ain't always right. Chocolate is a band-aid, no matter what they say. Shoes don't stretch, and men don't. Cupid works for the devil, be suspicious if he cries. Sex is usually good. Two stone stretch Men don't change What? What the heck just happened? Why the hell am I chained up? <laughs> Huh. Stephanie hypnotized you boys with her song, so Lisa and I had to snap you all out of it with a duet. So this is why you boys ran off so suddenly? How can a duet turn you into total zombies? But wait, Kildra said the duet was what freed us. I remember hearing Kildra's voice too when everyone, even Chili, just walked off. So you're saying Kildra hypnotized us and dehypnotized us? I... What a surprise, Kildra not wanting to take full responsibility for her actions. But I... Poor Kildra, caught up in her own lie already. Let your co-singer lend you a hand. Listen up, lad. Stephanie tricked Kildra. She used her passion for music to get her to sing a duet, which was more hypnotic than a solo performance. If you knew she was being tricked, then why didn't you do anything to stop it? Because I'm me, that's why. That explains things. Well, at least it's all over. This episode has gone on long enough. So what do we do about her? Well, first of all... No! no. Are you saying you want to hypnotize people? Well... I know, but I want people to, um, 
notice me. Kildra, you don't need hypnosis to get people to notice your singing. He's right. You don't need some lame gimmick, you. You're right. I don't need brainwashing to prove that I'm good. Unlike her. Get the hell out of this mall. You're an insult to the music industry. You haven't seen the last of me. Mark my words. Yeah, that's what Killer Monster said, and we haven't seen him since. That's also what Ganon said before being sealed into a magic book. Whoa, nice get up. Thanks. Kayla Portica and I got new outfits. And mine has got roller skates. So is this like a permanent thing? I don't know, but I sure hope so. Me too. Me too. It would stink if this is the last time I show up. Huh? What the heck is that? It is a parrot I purchased at the pet's. We turn our backs for one second and this is what we find? You're not s speaking s sensibly, duck. You replaced us with a parrot. We already have a bird. And someone that can fly. And a real animal. Perry is not your replacement. He is the opposite. The newest addition to this. Squad. I don't like him. Please, guys, give him a chance. You know, Duck, he's white. We're being too judgmental here. Ah, fine then, I'll give him a shot. Oh, oh, I'm so glad you've graced me with your approval. You know, my time here was relatively normal. Oh yeah, if you don't count the weird psycho shopkeep. By the way, Whitney, I got you Pilot Wings Resort. I figured we could modernize our rivalry. Thanks a lot, Coden, but... I don't own a 3DS. <sighs> of course you don't. Coden, look what I impulsively bought! Wow, Alex, that's... that's really something. At least he bought something. I didn't even buy anything. I mean, looking for a new table? That's kinda dumb. So what you're saying is that I had a more important part in this episode than you did? Pretty much. Has anyone seen Asia? I really need somebody to take me to the hospital now.